to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we submit ourselves to you and we ask that you will teach us help us to understand the kingdom and help us to access the mysteries that come with this kingdom and help us to demonstrate the reality of the life the power the grace of god that is resident within us we give you all the praise tonight we will never be the same our hearts are open we never get familiar with your presence in the name of jesus Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. Before I begin tonight, I just want us to take a minute and just thank the Lord for the manifest miracles, signs and wonders that he's doing through us, among us. Can we just lift up our voices in one minute and say lord we are not ungrateful people we thank you all who are connected with us to us around following us online join us to lift our voices and tell him thank you jesus we bless you jesus we acknowledge you as a doer of all things working by your spirit you only use men but it never comes from men we acknowledge you before the entire world and we declare that you are the wisdom behind the results that we command you are the lord of the outcomes you are the lord of every good thing that we celebrate in this ministry and so lord we thank you in jesus name hallelujah praise the lord now we are to start a series on the holy spirit but that would be next week i in the course of the week i had a very serious burden we're still going to be on the series but we just shift it one week and um, I think that there is a lot we need to learn about the ministry of the Holy Spirit the person of the Holy Spirit and how to walk in the anointing it's not enough to just have the Spirit of God we must know how to be demonstrators of that power but God had put something very strong in my heart and um, I trust God that will be as brief as possible tonight so that we can pray. Um, for me, when it came, it was very, very serious. And I think that is worth considering. We are going to be praying. I'm teaching tonight on dominion over curses. Dominion over curses. Dominion over curses. Thank you, Jesus. Dominion over curses. Any aspect of the kingdom life that you do not have sufficient understanding of please listen carefully you will always experience the reign of darkness in that area 
the Bible calls part of the cadres of the demonic kingdom. There is a class of spirits called the rulers of darkness. That means their dominion is on the strength of the absence of light or an inaccurate understanding on how to apply that light. You know, misunderstanding and ignorance are the same thing in the realm of the spirit. One who is a possessor of light but cannot apply it adequately and one who is barren of that light, both of them are destined to have the same outcome. So it's not enough to be possessors of light. We must also be possessors of understanding. The system in the kingdom by which we apply this truth. You will be learning a lot this night and I trust that God will open our eyes in the name of Jesus. In the course of this very brief teaching tonight, God is going to be opening our eyes and we're going to be seeing a lot of things as it concerns our lives, our families, our destinies, but much more than the knowledge, God will hand to us the keys that will not only help us to rise above it, but help the people in our families to rise above it. Praise the Lord. If I look at the baby that Shalhoma is holding and I call that baby an adult, I can argue based on whatever scientific fact. I can choose to even say she's not holding a baby. Whether I decide based on my perception to assume she's not holding a baby or not, the truth remains the truth. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Bible says, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. There are certain realities as far as our work with God and our work in the kingdom is concerned that if we do not pay attention to and sustain the grace to be able to bring those things under the feet of Jesus, we will live absolutely defeated lives. And one of it is what I'm going to be teaching you tonight. Dominion over curses. Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7. Very interesting scripture. Please give us that scripture. Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7. I want us to read it as loud and clear if you are a child of God. Ready? One to read. One more time. Stop. What does it mean and they are not? They are what? That means they have left the scene. Something started with them and their presence departed from the scene. But whatever that something is, the Bible says, and we have done what? The word born there is the word inherited. Our fathers have sinned and are not. It was only fair that whatever trouble will go with them, but the Bible says we have borne their iniquity. I hope you know the Bible says all scripture was inspired of the Holy Ghost. Holy men wrote, right? As they were moved by the Spirit. The second scripture I want us to look at is Proverbs 26 verse 2. And then we'll begin to establish a few things. Proverbs 26 verse 2. I want us to read one to read. As the bird by wandering. As the swallow by flying. Read please. So the cause causeless. <sighs> Look, look at this. This, this. I'm already laughing because I don't know how many of you went to school, but I think that this was written in basic English. So the cause, causeless, shall not come. In other words, if it comes, there is a cause. The condition for it not being there is that nothing caused it. That means the presence of any kind of predicament is a sign that it was intentionally initiated. The Bible says there is a law, and this is the law, that 
the a cause causeless shall not come it didn't say shall not stand it will never even manifest in the first place so the fact that it was able to appear in the scene of your destiny regardless of what caused it this law was properly obeyed for it to find expression it says a cause causeless shall not stand it shall not come there are so many believers who do not understand the laws of the kingdom and the systems of God like we have been discussing here. This is part of accessing spiritual intelligence. And um, we confess so many things we do not understand in the body of Christ and we are largely victims of situations and circumstances. There are so many people who do not even believe that there is such a phenomenon in the dealings of men in the earth called a system where men can experience what the bible calls a cause the word sounds insulting the word sounds antichrist the word sounds degrading but it's interesting to know that the first person who used it in the bible was god The first person to reveal to us that there is a possibility that a man's life can be programmed to experience woes was not even Satan. It was God. Almighty. Now think about this. God himself is using something. Are we believers? Ah, look at you looking at me as if you left your Bible one year ago. Is it not in your Bible? When man fell, the Bible says, and the Lord God had the voice. I mean, and they had the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day, correct? And he came and said, Adam, where art thou? And Adam said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? Then he said, the woman. This madam you have kept close to me did this and that and that. And because of her, I got into trouble. Woman, what is this that you have done? She said, the serpent. And he turned to the serpent. And the Bible clearly, clearly tells us, number one, the serpent was cursed. That he would crawl on his belly and he shall feed upon the dust of the earth. Correct? Then God turned to the woman and made another pronouncement of pain in childbirth. Then God turned to the earth, innocent earth, and said cursed are you for the sake of the man thorns and thistles shall begin to come out and in the sweat of thy brow that's the mystery of hardship God using that same statement the second experience was with a man called Cain when Cain killed his brother and then God called on Cain, where is your brother? I said, am I my brother's keeper? And God said that the blood of the brother crieth from the earth. And then he cursed Cain. Correct? And when he listed those curses, a fugitive and a vagabond shall you be? And Cain turned and even negotiated. Remember in one of our teachings we explained that. And he said, no, 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 no. Whoever sees me, whoever sees me, whether he has no business killing me or not something upon me will force him to want to kill me and god said all right i will put a mark without that mark anyone can kill you so it's not about who kills it's about what is making them want to kill you listen carefully please follow me tonight you are going to learn a lot a cause causeless shall not stand it's like saying every time you see water in this bottle it was intentionally put. It cannot just appear. Write this down. What is a cause? Ah! Looked around and suddenly realized That you've been so good to me Your mercy is everlasting 
cannot be studied intellectually you must be able to study from the standpoint of the realm of the spirit a cause is a mystery the second thing I want you to know about a cause is that a cause is a spiritual force a cause listen carefully is a spiritual force a cause is a spiritual force. Are we together? Number three, a cause has magnetic characteristics. Like you're talking magnetism, an attracting power. It can attract certain things to its victim. I'm taking out time to help you understand this. Let's take it very carefully tonight. A cause is a mystery. A cause is a spiritual force. Then a cause is magnetic. It has an attracting power. Number four. A cause is always negative in its manifestation. A cause is always negative. In its manifestation there's no such thing as positive cause no what is a cause a cause is an invocation a cause is an invocation comma a programming a cause is an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities to the life of its victim a cause is a what an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities pay attention and listen carefully in the life of its victim it always has negative effects on the life of its victim a cause can be made manifest in the life of a person through utterances let's be very fast utterances and pronouncements utterances and pronouncements the bible did not leave us in the dark 
as to the fact that utterances and pronouncements have prophetic implications whether from the positive dimension or the negative dimension every time an utterance is made the bible tells us it has an effect that is supported from the realm of the spirit that every time i open my mouth to utter an utterance the bible tells us whether it was done in ignorance or it was done intelligently that there is a support system in the realm of the spirit that helps to back the outcome of that pronouncement so the bible says say not before an angel i made a mistake Causes can find expression through written words. This is largely seen in, not much of this is understood in Christianity. But when you study world religions, you find out that there are many religions that um, work like a legal system. They have from slates to books to mantras to manuals and all kinds of things. And all of these gadgets and these documents are a system and whenever they are invoked in a certain dimension and a manner they have capacity to program wars upon the life of the people these are the basic ways that the bible reveals to us that a cause can be communicated to an individual now very quickly what is the character of a cause i'm being very I'm, I'm talking tonight like a lecturer because i want us to pray and i really want everybody to understand this it is easy to know that a territory listen carefully maybe let me change the word and call it a siege let me change the word and call it woes so that it will psychologically relate to you but the name is a cause if I change the name, it's only for your comfort, not to change the reality. It is called a cause. Are we together? Our idea of a cause is someone who offends you, then you make a pronouncement in anger and it brings a cause. No, no. It is that idea that makes us feel guilty. Say, no, 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 I didn't offend anybody. No. In this world once you are alive you have to find out what happened before you because you can be a victim of a story that predates your existence are we together now it is easy to know that a personality a family a territory is under a cause the first indication of the presence of a cause in a life and a family is patterns repetition of negative patterns that seem to veto the individual's prayer life that seem to veto the individual's supposed spiritual activities please pay attention patterns patterns the classic indication of curses and blessings in the bible is patterns patterns the same way the same way you can know that a man, a place, an individual is blessed. There is a track record of frequent happenings regardless of the condition. Are we together? Yeah. So we look at the life of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the Israel of God, and we see a pattern. Everyone who spoke against them was judged by God. There was something upon them every time they violated his dictates they were given to their enemies it was a pattern patterns are very common in the lives of people now we just pretend that they are not there you see let me tell you something one of the major reasons why people do not rise in power and faith listen carefully is because of insincerity when you want to approach spiritual things you must be open-hearted and sincere are we together your heart must be broken and contrite this pattern ranges from all kinds and it happens everywhere there are patterns as far as finances are concerned 
there are patterns as far as family lives are concerned you turn and look around the average family in Africa and you will know that there are patterns now pay attention and follow me to the end of the lecture don't be quick to just say no 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 but it doesn't exist I think I did something about it a cause causeless if it still remains the cause is there a cause causeless a cause causeless if I have a boil in my hand and I go to doctor if I come to you and I have a boil in my hand you will tell me that this boil is a reaction it's an effect of something is that true the boil is showing that something is wrong so the cause is not the failure the failure is a message the patterns are a message they are not the cause the cause is spiritual the cause is an atmosphere it's like a cloud it's like a mantle that an individual can carry has capacity to break barriers has capacity to follow you it can pursue a man it can overtake a man the bible personifies a cause in deuteronomy 28 you see that he spoke to them a list of blessings and then causes he said it will pursue you and overtake you travel to london travel to uk travel to your village go to school marry be wherever it can follow you it has that capacity that limitless ability a quality only given to spiritual things a cause is not failure a cause is not barrenness a cause is not retrogression all those things are messages they are symbols that signify the presence of such an atmosphere upon a man hallelujah are we blessed Joshua chapter 7. Let's look at it very quickly. Something interesting happened there. We'll read verse 1, then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. Joshua chapter 7, verse 1, and then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of what? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against who who carried something god was angry against help me now I, there's a revelation i want to show you who participated in the loot help me did they loot as a congregation did he consult them to loot the bible says he smuggled an item that he was prohibited to carry correct and then what happened the anger of the lord was kindled against who verse 10 and the Lord said unto Joshua get thee up wherefore liest thou tossed upon thy face because they were defeated a small city defeated them and Joshua went to God Israel had who sinned it never said Achan had sinned we are Bible students it never said Achan had sinned he said Israel had sinned and they have transgressed my covenant which i commanded them for they have even they 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 have even taken of their costing and have also stolen and dissembled also and they have put it even among their own stuff verse 12. therefore the children of israel could not stand before their enemies but turned their backs before their enemies why they started by taking something at cost and in verse 12 they themselves were one man whose eyes saw something and he said no I can't let this thing go like that and he smuggled it quietly and put it in his pocket and God was watching and God said Israel you have seen and all of them think of the innocent people that died in the war they were all preparing Oh, God will give us, I mean, if God gave us Jericho, what is AI? A small town. And in their midst, someone smuggled an item. And all of a sudden, they went to battlefield. 
imagine them moving warriors and they were utterly defeated and joshua the embarrassment was too much and he went back to god crying and god said stand up please this is not the issue of prayer you need to understand i need to give you understanding don't just lie down crying for nothing he said israel has seen they took something and by this time he said they themselves were a cause he said neither will i be with you anymore except he destroyed the accursed from among you the accursed was no longer a thing but a person accursed is real i wish they were not i would have just told you i was joking let's be serious now accursed is real don't you see them in your family i know you act like they are not there don't you see them around listen carefully don't you see them in the life of pastors don't you see them in the life of apostles, prophets, great people? A curse does not mean you are a sinner. Write it down. You have to get this. A sinner like one possessing the name. Listen, listen. I want to teach you something. Just pay attention. Whatever you don't understand, just keep following. A curse is not necessarily a symbol that an individual personally sinned against God. There are many families, there are many individuals carrying things in their lives that they can laugh around and pretend in church that this thing does not exist, it doesn't happen. But we are watching with our eyes. Remember the Bible says a cause causeless shall not come. Meaning if it comes, don't just probe the effect. What is the cause? Back to my boil example so i have a boil and my hand is swollen and i run to the doctor and say doctor help me and the doctor looks at it and smiles and says ah your white blood cells are fighting something are we together now they are fighting something or um what they call this thing fever sign ah pastor jt good to see you i didn't realize it was him hallelujah and then fever sign and then he tells me that that fever sign is a sign that there's war somewhere when others are feeling cold you are feeling hot correct you try to stand in the sun you start feeling cold again you don't know what is wrong with you that reaction is a sign that a war is going on somewhere whoever wins you will soon know if you don't recover it's a sign you are not winning and that means you must seek assistance and the doctor say okay i need to introduce something in your life and then he introduces something and all of a sudden things start changing and you cannot enter your body to know whether you are winning so you use the absence of that evidence as a sign that you are recovering all of a sudden listen a boil that refused to go you put rub it refused to go you put local herbs are we together palm oil it refused to go immediately you know something is wrong this is not sometimes it can even mock you and go and come out or come out somewhere else the boy is saying it doesn't matter where i come out i can come out anywhere for as long as what is causing it is still there but when the doctor explains to you the issue is not the boil the issue is and sometimes he will not even ask you to bust it he introduces something to your system then a boil causeless starts drying you watch it dry and it disappears and within a week you never believe anything is there then you now confirm by the absence of that thing that it is gone so don't sit down and tell me no boil is swelling we are all watching it grow you say no boil we are seeing it we are not stupid a cause causeless shall not stand you may not appreciate this because somebody is paying your bills now you may not appreciate this because no matter how careless you are you don't sow but somebody's harvest is paying for you so you are thinking you are the one sowing a day will come you will be exposed to a reality where you will now see that your life is dependent on the outcome of your understanding there are patterns that should not happen to believers if they are happening something should be dealt with it should not be ignored it should be understood 
and dealt with. Brothers and sisters, hear me. I tell you the truth by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Causes are real. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. There are families today that all the men in that family never move forward. They never rise. They never become anything. Ejimi, the men do not have to be irresponsible. They are sincere people. Very sincere people. There are families where every month per year, somebody must die. Regardless of how sincere they are. Loving people. It can even be after a church service. On their way back, they die. After a prayer meeting, rattling in tongues for hours, you can't say they don't love God. There are families, if a man looks at you and says, I love you, even that man, what will happen to him that night? He will never repeat that statement again. Now, he doesn't know why. You too, you don't know why. You think the issue is, okay, am I too fat? Let me be on a diet. No. You are trying to rub palm oil on our boil. Remember our story. I know many hard-working men. Hey, Jimmy, they have been working in their 20s sincere godly people till today they are begging there are people who start building 20 years it has not reached LinkedIn level no brothers and sisters we are intelligent how many graduates you see in a family seven graduates the only employed person in that family is a driver are they so stupid they are not lazy they will tell you they are not lazy most times we think it's because they are unserious. And people erroneously say, just forget it's just that they are not hardworking. Please be careful. Some of you, as you are sitting now, if you are to be sincere, you know things are not all right. There are families where you give birth to people, things happen. There are pastors, Ejimi, they refuse to deal with these things and they get into ministry. Anointed. Remember my story. Born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, working miracles, but still oppressed by demons. I went to people quietly and I said, What is wrong? They said, Don't, don't worry. Man, let me tell you, I don't think there are few people here that quote scriptures more than me. The demons didn't respect it. Shocking. Call the name of Jesus, nothing happened. How do you call the name of Jesus on a crusade ground? And somebody is walking out of a crutch and you call it for your life and nothing happens. I knew I needed to understand something. Your victory starts when you are humble. When you have, you say, no, no, no. There has to be a puzzle to this equation. It can be God. Mysterious sicknesses. There are people today carrying hepatitis, A, B, and whatever. It's, they don't have, when you go to the hospital and say, I have hepatitis, they ask you who had it in your family. Even genetics support the reality of transgenerational transference. There is such a possibility. The fact that you look like your father should teach you something about the realm of the spirit. The fact that you look like your mother and your born again did not change your facial appearance is a spiritual reality. Something, listen, something should tell you that this thing is real now, you better trust the holy spirit all of us men of god are not older than you by more than 20 30 years the holy spirit is an ancient spirit is god's own spirit he was there when this thing started hallelujah a curse causeless shall not stand i have watched sincere people a jimmy bound sincerely there are pastors today as anointed as whatever. You look at them, you think it's the Holy Spirit. No growth, no increase. And it's not only ministry. It's a pattern. Anointed. Born again. Nothing happens. No growth, no increase. How many people have they thrown away from, they went to US. Just when they went, they went with complete papers. As soon as they were vetting people, one got missing. 
and you know that they did we here say look let me explain to you if my papers were complete they say come and explain to your embassy in nigeria and they drive them down what of all these devilish things that fly around people's body fibroid lump hiv cancer see it killing men now once a man is 45 years old he starts getting afraid ask the doctors they will tell you prostate cancer once people start getting to 45 46 they are now they are now afraid because of cancer once a lady is approaching 28 29 even doctors start saying marry fast though because any moment from now and every stranger will start growing so once you are 30 and you are not married they will tell you look there's no room to hearing god just hurry up and get all your children fast how many do you plan to have five you need at least 10 years hurry up and catch up it's nonsense the devil is a liar this night patterns how about barrenness a trace of it how about fruitfulness but that not productive you give birth to 10 children all of them are useless there are patterns the ladies must get pregnant out of wedlock before the way now they are innocent and the condition that leads to the pregnancy is the same thing that happened to someone else they don't know themselves but it happened i have counseled people like that brothers and sisters there is such a thing as that and tonight god wants to show us that there is a system in the kingdom where people can have dominion it is not just about what christ has done it is that we can be alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in our heart we have claimed things that we don't know anything about let me tell you something about ministry in zaria that you do not know i think it was you sam i was talking to Minis the lifespan of successful ministry in Zaria is three years you are a ministry in Zaria if you survive three years you know the mystery of continuity after three years something must arise attempting to rubbish your life a scandal are we together one kind of failure something will just evolve out of nowhere there are so many people especially music artists They've risen from Zaria. Men of God risen from Zaria. But you don't know where they are today. You see a musician just appears. And for six months he's been invited everywhere. And after that you just go still. Next. We are waiting for the next person. <laughs> yeah. There is a level the devil pegs men. And pegs their destiny. You never rise beyond a level. There are families is defined for as long as you oscillate within that ambient of relevance it's okay but try to cross it that line will draw you back and say are you blind don't you see that there's a long line are we together men don't live beyond certain times the moment you are 35 death comes see i saw this pattern in my own extended family the only person in my father's family that is alive now is him and one of his sisters. I've shared it with you. Very sincere people. None of them died a good death. Mysterious sicknesses that will rubbish your life and none of them ever rose to certain levels. Some of your fathers are like that. They started working from 22. As it is now, if you send them 5,000, they will kneel down and say thank you. It's a cause. It's a cause. Some of you are in school as students, but they are calling you from home. Anything for this month, you say, mommy, just take it easy. We keep laughing and say there is nothing wrong. See, let me tell you. You don't deal with it, you marry, it follows you there. You don't deal with it, you... Because... As you are marrying, once you are standing with your necktie, two of you are bringing everything you represent. 
and you move into the house. Do you know this is why people erroneously call people witches and wizards? It is because they are open to the prophetic, but because they do not have the accurate understanding of the word of God, they see the spirit that is behind that activity and mistaking it for the individual carrying it out. So they say, no, 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 no. And truly what they are saying is not a lie. They say your trouble started from the day this lady, one lady come. All of a sudden, you said you will marry her. You now got married. You were a millionaire. In five months, five months, you are looking for 10,000 to buy a new shoe. Mysterious things happen. Your first car got missing. The second car, police, police caught it. The third car is somewhere else. Your truck capsided like that. The driver slept off. Listen. And your life is reduced back. And then you now go to a man of God. I'm not, I'm not talking against men of God. You know I love the body of Christ. But you go somewhere and then the man, genuine man of God, now looks and says, Ah! Who did you marry? Tosi. <laughs> Thank God you are even still alive. It's just an example, darling. Just an example. Are we together now? Give me your hand. Now. Run away from me. You want to deny me now, Tosi. Be nice to me. Be a nice wife. Are we together? And then the man. You see, men will consult quietly. They will announce in public. Is the anger you see publicly. The man now returns home. Good evening, darling or oh honey. Say, see, let me tell you. I am throwing everything out of my life that is causing me failure. He stops eating your food. Because he believes that eating your food is why he's now having high blood pressure. And this lady is sincere. She loves God. Are we together now? And they cannot. Un Why will you call such a nice woman a witch? She may not be a witch, but she's connected to something that is causing that effect. Plus, the one you are now bringing. We have not even talked about the word of the man. Hybrids of different formulas that are as a result of different spiritual things. And you find out that things don't work in people's lives. That's why in certain villages, they even apportion certain regions and tell you they are what? Cost. It doesn't happen in your village. Where they isolate a group of people and say these people, whoever marries, will either die or something. And sincerely speaking, you go and marry out of bold face and say love is love. Love is blind. And Jimmy said marriage will open your eyes. You now go and get married and find out that after the marriage, two weeks after the marriage, you are not hearing again. One month after the marriage, you can't walk again. You see that? Tell me why a man who has been working in the civil service for 30 years should not have up to 1 million in his account? How many children grew up with him? Two children, he's still poor. There are families, win lottery, get anything, they will still be poor. It has nothing to do with money. It's a system. Listen, the system of causes outlive those who caused it. It can outlive it. The primary purpose of a cause is to create a system for transgenerational allegiance. Transgenerational allegiance. Allegiance to deities. Ultimately, an allegiance to Satan. A system to create transgenerational allegiance. Our grandmothers and great-grandmothers, you hear of one woman giving birth to 14 children, never went to a hospital, no CS. Out of those 14 children, one was a set of twins, one was a set of triplets, and truly she gave birth to them in the midst of fire and you still see her a mother of 13 children standing her stomach is as straight as an arrow no fibroid no nothing why because before the delivery there is a priest who asks the god and say remember just like we agreed we have been serving you half of our guinea corn is hanging on the tree in respect to your demands so whatever look upon that guinea corn and that goat that disappeared and pleased this woman now all of a sudden missionaries had passion but no intelligence they came to africa now 
we love the missionaries but don't forget that they were very limited people say they died of malaria are, are you are you with what you know now was it malaria that really killed them they didn't die of malaria malaria was the servant like a tray that carried that charm you just come in and all of a sudden you organize a crusade and say stop worshiping this deity 300 years old of worship and allegiance you have the gods to bring the head bring everything burn it <laughs> and an old woman is just looking at you and pitying you jesus saves jesus heals they leave you quietly because they know that ignorance can alienate a man from the life of god and the moment you finish first you die all the followers die the remaining return and they say look this thing does not work if i didn't know this i would have been a failure all my life are we together i have seen this thing happen with all humility I don't know how many of my extended people especially from my paternal side that i can look and say this person is successful today no no causes can come directly from god <laughs> directly from god this is not the cause of the law the cause of the law is not the, all the cause there is in the Bible. Directly from God. Number two, causes can be transgenerational. Products of ancestry. What we call ancestral causes. There is such a thing as ancestral causes. There is such a thing number three self-inflicted causes self-inflicted causes there are programmings that can come upon the lives of people which is a product of self-infliction the cause that we call the cause from God is what I also call a sinner's cause. Every sinner is under a cause. Everyone who has not acknowledged Jesus Christ, please hear me carefully, as his Lord and Savior, believe it or not, you are under a cause. You are under a cause. What is the cause? The dominion of evil perpetually remains above you is a cause the moment you are not in christ you qualify for the very cause that is upon creation that from dust thou art and to dust thou shalt return that tons and thistles shall come upon your ground and with the the sweat of your brow shall you feed there is a cause that is upon creation it cannot be taken away you can only be exempted from it hear me please that is the reason why the old earth will be purged there is a reason why fire will purge this earth there is a reality that is hanging upon this earth right now individuals born by default in sin did my mother conceive me he says and you are a victim of it mortality is a cause that came with creation there is such a possibility that a man can extend his life. You can access the reality of God's life. Failure, the cause. If you are not in Christ, listen, you are not in Christ, you qualify for the sinner's cause. It's not something bad. It's not even about what you did. It's a reality. God's own pronouncement upon creation as a result of men alienating his ways. And then I said number two, ancestral causes. 
ancestral causes are products of violating the terms and agreements products of violating the terms and agreements that constituted the basis for mutual relationship between men and deities there was such a provision in Africa as a continent where men fraternize with deities you see that in ancient Babylon you see that in Egypt the sun god Ra alongside thousands of other gods there was a very intelligent spiritual system of fraternity with them an agreement a covenant causes operate on legal grounds they don't operate by mistake they operate on legal grounds there is a legal system in the kingdom and don't forget righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne a system that God is obliged to honor who can stand against the Lord no one can no one will that's the liberty he's bringing to you tonight who can stand against my king no one can no one will oh when you walk out of this many of you will begin to see things change in your life in remarkable ways remarkable ways your prayer life will be so reduced to only worship because you will search around and see that there are no issues of concern again there is such a possibility that a man can sit down bless on the left and on the right an effulgence of zoe the reality of god's life practically at work in a man and they look at you and say pastor alpha is it true that you came from kogi state with this rest roundabout the witches left you they didn't leave me i came out I access the mystery because they are still there if they left you they will leave everybody there you mean you come from this state and you are not a drunkard no the drunkenness is still there I came out by a mystery of exemption this house I built it at what age 27 where did you get the money from the only person that built a house here was the king of the village and he built it at 63 and you tell them well 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 welcome to a new order where intelligence creates reality do you know you would die and you say no no the same mystery that built the house without resistance keeps the house You had the testimony of the gentleman diagnosed of prostate cancer and all of a sudden is that prostate cancer he would have died like a chicken then we will say how can Allah Sharia? you see what how we convince ourselves as if the will of God is a mystery I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil I don't know poverty does not look like good oppression does not look like good no sir I counsel a couple me. they got married their wedding night that's supposed to be a night of joy their very wedding night a stranger walked physically to the woman and told her the same thing I did to your mother is what I would do to you she true story she got pregnant according to what she told me they were even happy people were dancing and in the night this stranger came again and this is all he did on her stomach and she got up in the morning bleeding profusely as if she would die machines don't diagnose causes machines 
cannot detect the presence of demons they only detect the effect of their presence we went to Ida we always go there for Pastor Alpha's conference and I remember one of the years when we traveled there he took us on a tour and began to explain to us we went to greet the king the man refused to see us later on and then we went somewhere and I saw foul remember market square one market square that we went I saw it there with my eyes and people were passing whoever did the sacrifice just scattered it there witchcraft is real if you see anybody rising he is exempted or yet to be a victim you hear what I said exempted or or the devil is allowing their ignorance to keep them going while they laugh at others I say it's because you don't know the day will do you he will scatter and rubbish you into pieces there are people who are so irrelevant as far as their impact to hell is concerned the devil will say just allow them to be busy they think it's because they have overcome the day something about your life and ministry strikes hell you will see the reaction immediately you can be praying your childish prayer and the devil say focus on those who are really just leave that person and you can convince yourself that because nothing has happened say no 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 I'm, i know what to say i don't talk too much and things happen the day that you ever say anything that strikes a chord in hell suddenly strangers will come to you and say don't do it again <laughs> brothers and sisters if you see men rise as if satan does not exist it's not it's because they have accessed a mystery that immunes them this is what i'm teaching you tonight but to refuse that this does not exist is the beginning of deception beginning of deception the western world has been cheated in this area in a very big way because of advancement in medicine and advancement in all of these things oh they leave it to all the spiritists and the, as the the transcendental meditators and all of them come the nation of america listen their fathers understood this mystery they walked in power and when satan found out that that whole generation had covenanted their lives to god he left them and started growing with their children he said let's leave the fathers to die in the crusade ground and he started growing with the children and all the children came up with all kinds of things you know i mean there's if, if you are sick right now you cough ambulance is coming in five minutes and so they don't believe it now look at the disaster happening in the western world where people can kill themselves on youtube shoot their children effects they laughed at us in africa before that we are the ones who used to behave like that you carry arrows now they have a reprobate mind a generation successfully captured by hell a cause is a mystery a very deep mystery hallelujah how many beautiful ladies do you know beautiful godly god fearing the painful part is nobody has even come to say Kai, my dear you know you're a pretty lady it's not a lie you know what i'm saying it's not a lie how many parents went to all kinds of rivers and were dipped how many times to be pregnant There is a system in the kingdom for exemption but the first key is to acknowledge that there is such a reality on earth a lot of people don't believe causes are real it's foolish to believe sickness is real and poverty is real and not believe causes are real the same boss brought all of them how you know you are free from causes is that you also don't fall sick and you don't get poor if you can still get poor as a believer then make no mistakes to say a cause cannot come are you getting what i'm saying if as a believer i say are you born again yes are you blessed no i'm poor they say okay it's okay 
with time it will change are you a believer yes are you sick oh very sick are you a believer yes is there manipulation of that no 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 are we not mocking ourselves what is the difference between sickness poverty and causes if we do not get this we will destroy ourselves every time i look at this next generation of koinonia our little ones do you know what i tell myself we have to run fast and correct everything that our parents could not correct in our lives before our children come correct it fast i look at these dear ones and i'm imagining a time that they will now start growing and all of a sudden they will become victims our parents were sincere people but they didn't know the way out so many of us we are in the middle of two generations correcting the errors of the father and setting precedents for a new generation is worth enduring are you hearing what i'm saying hear me you are you are hearing this message tonight if you are a lady here as you are hearing it just just know that you are you are hearing it not just for yourself but you are hearing it for a generation you ignore what i'm saying it will pain you to watch your children go through this and you will remember you had a chance to be free no. i cannot allow my children go through this let me suffer it let me go through it no matter what it will cost me if i go through the delay let it be that is me that went through for them so that these dear ones will move forward if i go through the poverty let it be that is me that will suffer it but not that i will bring a child and watch your child die like a chicken and turn and say father what did i do wrong and you say me too that's how i saw it everybody shout no way How many students do very well secondary school brilliant people why nine papers they step into the university and all of a sudden hundred level result nine f's you think they are dull they are conducting tutorials but they enter the exam hall they only remember in the night when the exam has finished it's not everybody who is lazy let me tell you what of recurrent sicknesses there are people today there is no month they don't fall sick go to the hospital they will tell you nothing is wrong now the doctors are wiser thank god for spiritual people becoming doctors they don't waste time again the moment they diagnose you they see that you have come once twice they'll say do you know what find any available crusade and run quickly go to the front early and stand there and trust god to wipe your tears that's why we need more spiritual people getting into our hospitals so that they will not allow people to die like chickens i look forward to times where god will give men and women of power the moment you are a midwife helping a woman give birth and the baby is not coming out you detect by the spirit this is witchcraft right there shagato soto labaya help that lady and all of a sudden you find out that that woman gives birth koinonia today is not rising because there are no demons let me tell you make no mistakes only god knows how many powers try to kill me every day i told you all the time only god knows how many people take my names to shrines oh it has never happened in israel There was a woman called the widow of Nain. What killed her husband? She had only one child. One child. The husband now died. The child now died. On her way going, Jesus saw and said, No, this is not the issue of burial. I need to change something here. There are families. You will see them in a community. 32 people. Only 1% of them are men. And all the men are madmen. They are not they are, their brains are not even in place again madmen is a woman that pays the school fees of children is a woman that drives car is a woman that builds a house is a woman that does everything all the men become useless you see them playing draft in the morning and laughing and taking beer it's a cause
there are families with a cause where the children never see their grandparents either they are in exile or they die please tonight you are going to offer yourself as a living sacrifice that will change this you you will have to be a wicked person if you allow your children go through this thing i'm telling you what of poverty what of poverty there are many people who went to harvard came back anything they start die the day you want to start importing it that's when government banned it why was it exactly others have finished making their money just when you were about to start what of people in ministry they think it's normal everybody they raise disappoints them there is a spirit they raise so many men but they disappoint them there is no helper a man will be 30 years in ministry who has become a father in the faith you should have people to you should not beg for bread again but there is no man you call for help there is nobody some of you see some of these women walking on the street 71 years carrying firewood where are the children she gave birth to where are they one is in prison the other one is security somewhere and they are about to throw him out you find families where a lady has seven children from seven different men seven different men she honestly does not even know which one is the husband of which because a madman will just rape her somewhere and sometimes she can even be coming back from the house of god it's a programming it looks like a coincidence what kind of coincidence keeps happening you start business you crash you always lose money you always lose joy you always lose peace you always run into trouble they are chasing a thief the moment they pass you that's when police will say from this place pack all of them you were innocent it's a programming you reign you ancient zion king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your own. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and we have You are mighty on your throne. Listen, help me. How can a man lose a job in 1999 until now? He has not gotten a job. Is it that dull? See, let me tell you something. Sit down if you can. We'll soon stand up and pray. Listen. Listen to me. When you study the laws of mechanics, Sir Isaac Newton postulated a law. We call it the first law of mechanics. And this is what it states that everybody continues in its uniform motion or a static state, right? It remains there until compelled by an external force to act otherwise through the law of inertia that if i leave this in one place theoretically speaking thank you i should come and find it in one place after a long time that's how the, your destiny will be if you sit down and you are wishing it will remain like that the only thing that will be changing is your age but your condition will remain the same how about men have you seen families where the men never leave their parents homes there is such a thing they bring their wife all the cousins and their wives to their father's house you see that the house they are staying was the grandfather's house the guy works in nmpc but cannot rent a good house you ask him why you say okay i'll do something about it 
45 years he's still in his father's house they share the parlor they compartmentalize the kitchen if you buy your first car 50 years is that a testimony no you build a house at 55 is that a testimony take seriously what i'm saying what of ministries there are churches that this cause of poverty has still landed even on the ministers you will see a church with members but prosperity zero when it comes to finances you will never see increase in that area but tonight god put this body in my heart because it's time for somebody's lifting yes it is yes it is yes it is barrenness every look at me i want to tell you something now and please listen we are here to help ourselves but let me give you an information every case of barrenness is spiritual e-v-e-r-y every case of barrenness is spiritual let me repeat it every case of barrenness is spiritual so says the bible the remedy for every case of barrenness was spiritual and god opened the womb of rachel and god opened the womb of leah and god shot the womb of a milka david's wife every so that when some things happen to you you don't waste time you know where to go for to look for help quickly quickly recurrent deaths i remember one lady i can't remember um who now but there used to be a lady i remember the story faintly now that was dedicated to snakes literally snakes and the way snake molds this molting it happens to her physically the outer skin begins to you know swell like peel i'm not talking of all just skin irritation literally like a snake molting it's good to marry from the house of god because the job has been done you hear what i'm saying is a good advice i'm telling you no matter what is pursuing you bring it to the house of god the house of god is a factory where true solution is provided when the devil wants to rubbish you he makes you successful and then he goes to connect you with a very wrong person and your life begins to know that a cause causeless shall not stand self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience no matter how born again you are if you don't tithe your heavens are closed that for sure whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding seeing then that these realities are true what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them I'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free. Ready? Psalms 102, verse 13. It's a mystery very few people understand. Please give us Psalms 102, verse 13. Read it if you're a child of God. One, two, read. three things mercy time favor mercy time 
favor thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her even the set time the Kairos moment the opportune time is come because of that arise and have mercy let me tell you something about the mercy of God the mercy of God is not an attribute for sinners the salvation of sinners only pass through the mystery of mercy but mercy is more than more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation you have to understand this the mercy of God is part of the attributes of his person the mercy of God is a system a system in the kingdom where guilty people are made free the mercy of God is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against god god gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time god want to come in he will remind him the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love the bible tells us that the lord's mercy can triumph come on now that the lord's mercy can triumph over judgment so when i get to the end of my road i know that i am deserving of everything should happen that should happen yes my father sacrificed to idols yes my carelessness i am not a tighter i am qualified for financial bankruptcy the last card i danced it did not work i prayed it did not work the attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of god you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. Samson lost his strength to Delilah. The Bible says his eyes were plucked, the symbol of light in his life, and the mystery that surrounded his power, his hair shoven completely. And they took him. The Bible says they took him to their temple to make mockery of God. Everything was over. But that Samson leaned there, they didn't watch the hair grow. He said, oh Lord, he cried for mercy. And the moment he did that, see, there is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered, try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord, I know I am undeserving of this. But I invoke your mercy.
it is of the Lord's mercy listen it is of the Lord's mercy meaning my lifetime is too fast for me to not have made a mistake but it is of the Lord's mercy somewhere in my work he creates a system a provision see let me tell you it is on grounds of this that the Bible can say rejoice not over me my enemies for when you think ah there was a time his car now had an accident will he ever rise again don't go ah. the worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy you are finished mercy and Samson pushed and the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime what of blind Bartimaeus thou son of David hold on he never said heal me the Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart I thought it would be thou son of David heal me he said thou son of David have mercy mercy is an open check and God had to come he left and came thou son of David there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you two condemned criminals one was talking nonsense like many people are still doing their quarter to finish in life and they are still making noise and the other one provoked his mercy and he said this day today not tomorrow today you will be with me in paradise Are we together? Listen. The mercy of God is an attribute you need in your life. It's not for sinners. The mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations. There is such a thing as limitation. If I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting, I will be lying. No. I have mastered the art of God's mercy. Years ago, during a pastor's, a pastor's conference, the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying, they said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying. And he said for over two or three hours, all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy. Mercy, Lord. You would think he stole church money. He knew, he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy 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 Jesus met a woman by the well when he met that woman by the well they started a conversation number one that woman was a prostitute correct and then because of that more the disciples oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt Jesus you're a bad woman and Jesus started talking with her and she started touching his mercy and at the end of it that woman ran and said come and see the man who has told me what I have done mercy mercy vetoes everything in your life and when the door settles you are still standing that's why you see those who know this when people are dancing and saying the power of my might has given me this oh this great ministry koinonia apostle what wisdom you are such an anointed man i just laugh and look at them you need to hear my prayer in the secret place the mercy of god when david one day the bible says when kings go for war david was meandering his balcony correct and he looked at somebody's wife she was bathing and from the altitude he could see her nakedness and he desired her the bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came he now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call uriah in the heat of war not minding whether the nation of israel would die they carried uriah and brought uriah uriah said my king i'm here he says i just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently? Yes, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of Israel? I should be there in the heat of battle. And he got angry. And all he did, listen, was to write a letter, 
a man's own death sentence and gave him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question what was the difference between Cain and David Cain killed Abel blood started crying meaning when David killed Uriah blood should be crying correct David went wept 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 when all of that happened you would think that after the, the child died he will now tell the wife he said okay go I will marry you again who was the mother of Solomon <laughs> he did it again correct is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song if it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his message shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God want to destroy David. David would just find, he knew how to just tie God down. And God said, this is a man after my own heart. A man that understand. not even Moses was called a man after his heart. Mercy. This is what our families need. This is what we need. This is what many ministries need. This is what many businesses need. Let me tell you something. We are rounding up. There is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy. Number one, a broken and a contrite heart. Write it down. Arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of God's mercy. For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving, you will never have it. Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Your tender mercy I see day after day. forefathers did not do anything you are a joker but the mercy of God has a way of exempting you the mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot the mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life regardless of what was seen about you a particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and David said who is that was angry say you are the one who watch this do you know David was supposed to die we have a series on mercy that will deal with I don't want to go there but do you know when you read that scripture when David asked for mercy God said that death had been taken from him David would have died David would have died the wages of sin is not sickness the wages of sin is death but mercy but mercy but mercy there are some of you here legally you are supposed to be failures in life so based on that concoction 
those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God the mercy of God the mercy of God over your life invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make up I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me but there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know and if I'm to wait until I know all those things I may never rise so he introduces his mercy and I rise to realms that even me I know that is beyond my level of understanding the mercy of God you will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you their skills brought them but the mercy of God took you there. As we travel around, I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God and it never stops humbling me. When I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life. Sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look. I say, except for the mercy of God. Who dash monkey banana? Who really dash monkey banana you see it's not false humility it's an acknowledgement of truth the mercy of God you are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account you better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you are you hearing what i'm saying there is a dimension in ministry i believe in principles i teach principles here but let me tell you the truth there are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works there are still gaps and one thing i've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only god can fill that's where his mercy comes in and he amplifies and multiplies little things and your life becomes a sign and a wonder because I have seen women who never trained their children the children eight children all of them became great they got born again five are pastors all of them are millionaires they love God they are wonderful people walking in the ways of God but the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting that one is not wisdom again let the wise man not glory in his wisdom 
let the strong man not glory in his strength the bible says but let him that glory at glory in this that he understand it and knoweth me when you know him you know he's full of compassion and mercy i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. See, way before I learned certain principles I knew now, I was already getting their results. When I learned the principle, I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified i have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before i knew the principles that brought them yes this is true way before i understood principles of church growth and increase i had been seeing the hand of god and it's, there is a science to growth if you don't know it it should not happen but mercy 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 tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives upon our families and take away this air of pride that makes you think i have to marry because i'm beautiful i think i'm intelligent i should be a millionaire by now the pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy one of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes against yokes listen i've seen people at jimmy they are not even born again yet but sincerely you know they call it in house affairing jimmy you've seen that happen they take their names to the harbalists and the harbalists will reject it and they are not born again they don't love god they don't know him but their hearts are so sincere somehow they know there is a god out there and whoever it is they are grateful to him and God says protect them regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful their hearts are wicked yet God protects them I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home they never fear death and somehow you even pray and say you're a wicked man God will deal with you but you'll find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead they never fear anything they hear that there is crisis bomb will explode where you know they are in the night you still see him back safe and hale and hearty you didn't die and he laughs that guy doesn't take communion that guy has never attended prayer meeting that guy has never attended miracle service he doesn't even know what his genotype is honestly he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy all he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to god destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not for there is a blessing this is what has kept some of our parents home because you know that if it's based on keeping the principles of the kingdom they would have died since it would have it would have swallowed them if the lord had not been by my side now may israel say i think of what men would have done to me when i didn't know the principles of restoration when i didn't know the principles of long life i imagine what would have happened and i wonder how many things i do not know now that i will know in the future how i walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death yet his mercy keeps me if all else fail invoke his mercy i give you a formula if all else fails invoke his mercy you have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened lord mercy for my family they are all sinners mercy for my family mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men nobody in my family is making it and on legal basis the devil has his hold upon them 
and if you try to talk to them the painful part is they won't listen to you because the God of this system has blinded their minds but you can invoke mercy invoke mercy invoke mercy are you blessed tonight I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song. Himela, Himela, Okaka, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who knows the stanza? Himela, Himela, yes, we Trust that stanza, the stanza of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness And your faithfulness each day I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy oh, hallelujah. To receive the kind of love that you give
in one minute begin to mention the things you know didn't come as a result of your prayer life things that are attributes of his mercy and benevolence if you are ashamed of it you are not a candidate for mercy tonight the Lord mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now ha. and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire and he said the Lord rebuke you listen the mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan, I know you are supposed to destroy me. But what about this? I present to you the mercy of God. I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant. I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father. Standing and speaking. I present to you the sinless blood. I present to you Calvary. Lift your voice. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and plead the blood. Hey! Invoke mercy. Come on now. Invoke mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. 
the Bible says blotting out every handwriting there are handwritings there are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again the devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now it can blot it out it can blot it out it can blot out it can blot out it can blot out Was he praying? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me to open your mouth and declare every pattern you have been blotted you live my life patterns of barrenness patterns of failure come on now koinonia you pray Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh. Let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says, the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations. 5 verse 7. Please quickly, we want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 7. Our fathers have seen and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. But now 
if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State. I did ask them to do witchcraft. And now that they have done it, if the land is cursed, I exempt myself. I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness. Listen, I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from witchcraft and curses and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. Koinoni, are you praying? Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you SS. That made you AS. That gave you hepatitis. It must go tonight. The spirit of the spirit of the Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you. If God be God, everything that you are carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priest, priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. Lekrete ketoko soto balakata. Shepre keteko suta bariatakata. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of jesus i command freedom i command liberty i command freedom i command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is cursed for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, He says, And if ye be Christ's, 
Then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck, that looms around the life of men and women here, so that you never rise, is like a veil on your face. And anyone who sees you walks against you, I command that fail. Be taken off right now. Be taken off right now. Be taken off right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Cain said, My punishment is too great. He said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me. Any mark. Zeketo shalakras katabadiyasha. Lebren tekes kotabras kataliya. Any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever Any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes SS Jakatosia AS there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of Jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of courses and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now
announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of Jesus Christ I provoke restoration right now 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 I pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now in the name of Jesus I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Last prayer point I want to pray for you for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth there is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing the yoke destroying there is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate I want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like Mara the water you will pick it and in the name of Jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the Bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetter the plants of darkness in the name of Jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now Soto Sota Lekre to Sketenika A breaker anointing The grace and the unction Carry the fire Carry the grace Carry the unction Command deliverance Make environments cost free In the name of Jesus May your presence Your presence In your home your presence in your office your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of God there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of God receive it now in the name of Jesus
right where you are everyone there are people here in this place tonight overflow one overflow two by the road and as many following us from any nation of the world listen carefully it says ye must be born again ye must be born again salvation hear me please salvation is the most trusted bailout from every cause and every yoke according to scripture it provides a system where men can be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light God's dear son a system where men can exchange death for his life and you are here standing listening to me everywhere inside and outside you have never truly made this commitment for Jesus Christ you may be a pastor you may be an elder and then there are others here at one time you were serious with God but for whatever reason your life went haywire and as it is right now you know that you need a restoration you need to run back to Jesus wherever you are for time's sake our time is gone please everyone stand in honor of this altar call I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain as I count one to five this is a serious business I want you to come out right now one everywhere inside and outside quickly please quickly clear the way for them two please run 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 like there's fire on the mountain run like your destiny depends on this decision three are you running those coming from outside don't sit back and allow anyone tell you no 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 it's, it's just a little issue now is the day of salvation now is the day of salvation the bible says today if you hear his voice harden not harden not your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness four i still believe there are still people outside rush and join us now quickly rush and join us quickly rush and join us quickly i have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I want to salute all of you young man look at me stand up Kai. there is a dangerous spirit that i'm seeing on this guy can you just lay your hand on him Jimmy? just on his back i command that devil you must go now ah, i looked at him and i started seeing i saw a wild animal like a lion before i pray for you look at this look at this this guy gently came here Look at this. I saw a wild animal. A wild spirit. Salvation is powerful. Look at this. Now, you come and marry him. You see what I'm saying now? I'm not saying he's a bad guy. This guy may not even know why his life is haywire. Anger problems. That's why men slap and beat their wives and say sorry later and still do it. Look at how many men are holding him. Look at this. I command you now. Let him go. In the name of Jesus, I bring upon you the victory of Christ. Mm. For the light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Be set free. Every legal access against you, the blood speaks now out of him and never return this is by mercy and by grace you go and never return i tell you the breakthrough this guy's family will have from this night he's not it's not just him he's representing something stand up look at him look at the same person that five people could not hold 
come let me lead you listen when you stand to pray huh my friend my sister when you stand to pray you pray with all your heart and you pray it sincerely now all of you standing in front say after me from the dead don't be ashamed my brother you don't have to cry you're a nice person this is koinonia all of you say after me help the little ones let them be sure of what they are saying they are laughing they may not know what they are saying but guide them and let them be serious because it means a lot to god say after me lord jesus you are not reciting a poem meaning from the depth of your heart say lord jesus this night i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for my sin right now i accept your lordship over my life i receive the gift of righteousness and i declare that i am a child of god i'm born again spirit of the living god come upon my life make me a sign and a wonder i declare that the power of sin the flesh and satan is broken over my life forever in jesus name amen i stretch my hands upon you i declare your sins forgiven i declare in the name of jesus that every access the devil has over your life is gone by the blood the lord gives you a new beginning from today you rise like an edifice forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus amen and amen now i want you to follow a gentleman waving his hands just turn and follow them they will give you a few details they'll follow you up and please comply with them very quickly the lord bless you all of you in concert please appreciate them as they go very quickly i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.